Hello, everybody. Welcome to a fabulous little collection. It's called Winter Wibblers. My name is Stephanie Waitman. I'm bringing you this because it's a little bit of fun. Everybody gets their fun at Christmas, and I thought it was time that you and I shared some. So let's take a look at what we're actually getting. So this is the first of the collection. We've got a little gnome, our moose, and we've also got our snowman. They're a collection of three dies together, and they are called our Christmas characters. Now, this one is is our Christmas tree and it's got beautiful pine cones. They're all literally suspended from wooden branches and then we've got the wooden hearts in between. Very delicate, very, very intricate. It's got that background die so you can do it and use it if you want to. The white piece here as actually a shaped card. But what I've got is actually the ability to be able to give you all of that detail and you can see there just how much there is included and that particular die is called our pine cone tree the next one that we've got for you is three individual little trees and what we're doing with these is these imagine are going to be absolutely stunning when I put the little characters amongst them how cute are they this is what it's all about this is Christmas at its best a little bit of snow amongst those and they are going to be stunning. I love that the bases are all different, the leaves are different and we're going to be able to add lots of detail to them too. So that little collection is called Tremendous. Now this is an embellishment, a little embellishment where we've got the little wooden elements, we've got the trees, we've got the branches, we've got some elements of the pine cones as well. I like that it sits, so he could be wearing it if he chose to. That's a little bit of fun. We can snip into these elements as well. So great fun to snip into. And also design so that our characters can literally stand on top of them and you can make a little bit of extra detail with them. So this is going to be a very useful die and we're going to do lots of snipping with that and lots of details. That one is called Handmade Decoration. And now it comes to all of these decorations. So imagine those on our tree, hanging from the tree, little decorations, all adding the detail. Look at how beautiful these baubles are. They actually do look like their glass relatives. And then you've got the wooden elements too, and that branch. That branch becomes part of the decoration. So all of it can combine together. And so those are called baubles and charms. And then our wreath. Now, the wreath is the perfect example of where we're going to put those baubles and charms, what we're going to do with everything that we've got and how we're going to bring this story together. Just by standing our little gnomes inside here or bringing in our moose or maybe even putting our snowman. So our trio of characters are in the wreath there. Can't wait to show you what you can do with them. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to look at the wreath itself. Now, this beautiful little wreath looks great if we actually do some decoupage with it and we layer up more than one design. So I'm going to go into my a second wreath and show you where I would snip. But please do not throw anything away because everything that you've got, all these spare pieces of foliage and, of course, that lovely wooden element that creates the outside edge of the wreath is going to be really useful. So I'm keeping that all together. So snipping, just following the little cuts to make this. I hope you can join me for the show. And of course, all the other inspiration that you'll find on Highlight Crafts, because this is just one of those kits where you could spend all day and no two projects would ever be the same. So I'm just snipping in and releasing those last little bits of greenery so that this bow can become independent and freestanding. But then we can use it and create some decoupage with it. So the way that I'm going to shape it, I've got two of the lovely bow tail, tails here, or four of them in fact, and then the bow loops. Just going to give that a little bit of shape with my fingers. Whoops, so you can see I've made those stand up. 
and I'm going to shape these ones out. All the little cuts that you've got are all allowing us to shape it without getting creases or anything else in the way. Now, we're going to start off with a piece of foam and I'm going to use that to hold this in place. And by placing the foam onto this part of the design, I can make sure that I can see where it's going to be. And then I'm going to take a smaller piece of foam and pop that in the middle so we get extra height. So it's a single thickness here, double thickness in the middle. And that is ready for us to take our bow and stick that on. And with that bit of shaping that I've done, you can see that that sits perfectly in place. And when I lift it up, you can see the dimension that we've got. Okay, so that's the start of the first one of the designs. This one, wow, there's so much we can do with this. So if I just do some little tiny snips, and I'm going to take those snips that follow the actual part of the design. So I'm going to cut into it, and I'm just going to follow the actual um, little, um, what do we call them? The little branches that are all holding it together. And by just snipping into these and following the cuts that I've got, just like that, so you can see how I've gone into them, I start to be able to open this up. So it opens up and it it's no longer circular. If I press that down, you can see how you can get it nice and flat. It's no longer circular, but it actually becomes more oval. So I'm just going to pop this to one side for a moment because I want to show you how we're going to shape this so that we're going to make these into two Christmas trees. So I just need to do a couple more cuts along this side. So I'm just snipping into it so I can open up that shape and you can see that element there. This little piece is going to come off. So I've made that much more Christmas tree shaped and that little bit of foliage can go behind if we choose to. And then this one, again, the shape here, I'm going to take that and make that more Christmas foliage. So I've now got it with a little straighter line and my Christmas trees at either side. Need to do a little bit more work on these, but that's fine because that's where our embellishments come in. So we can put those embellishments either side. And then we've got somewhere for our characters to sit. So each of these characters will literally come into this collection. So you can see how I've now made this area for them all to be able to play. But imagine if we could make this freestanding and these little characters could actually sit and swing their feet. So I've got here a piece of floristry wire. Oh my gosh, this is such fun. And I'm just going to wrap it round a hat pin. So I'm just going here, just going to wrap it around a hat pin and then let's just pull that out. It's got a little bit of glue on this hat pin, so I'm just going to wrap it a little bit looser so I can get the glue, get it out. Should have wiped the glue off first because that was fun, wasn't it? I've got the glue now on my paper, which I don't want. I'll do it again at this end with the clean end. <laughs> So, there we go. Oh, still nearly stuck then. Okay, so that's one of our the little um, wibbly legs. In fact, this one looks better. I'm just going to see if I can find something else that would wrap around that would be nicer. So, paintbrush, I think. That's what we need, isn't it? So, oh, look at that. That's much easier, isn't it? So, I'm just going to snip that one off so maybe a little bit wide so I'm just tightening them a tiny bit so they're going to be his little legs so that's one and then another one so you want something that's about medium thickness I probably I've gone from very thin to quite thick here. I think I need something probably in the middle, but I'll show you the principle of it because then we actually can see exactly what we're doing. 
So I'm just going to take my little snowman and I'm going to take it off here at the top of that part. I'm then going to take some tape and I'm going to use this tape to hold these in place. So these are going to be the two pieces that are being held in place. So you do need to be quite firm with the tape. Make sure that you get a really good, strong bond. So go down the side of each of the pieces of metal. And a hot glue gun would be a good idea here. Just making sure that you've got it nice and firm. So there we can see we've got his little feet. <laughs> How cute is this going to be? Now we're going to need his boots. So we're going to take those off. And we're going to get some more tape. And I'm going to put his little boots here. So he's got, you can see him there. If I hold him against my top, you can see. In fact, there is better, isn't it? If I, whoops. Just hold him. Let me get them taped on and then we'll show you. So I've got the two little, these little feet there. Tape those in position. Like that. So that's one of you. The other one underneath there. It's going to go just there. Get those really firmly stuck on. So I've got them like that. Trim off the excess tape because there's just a tiny little bit of excess. Don't want to be just tucking that away. I'm just going to make sure that that's well stuck. There. So a little bit of firm pressing. And then if I take... <laughs> this is just so super cute. If I take this so that I've got him, so that his feet are dangling over the design. And just so that you can see that, let me just put this little bit of white there so you can see his feet are dangling over the top and you've got his little, his little legs there and the whole thing just looks super cute. And if I share that from the, from the side, you can see he's got his little feet hanging over the edge. Let me just put this board behind it so you can see there. Look at that. Super cute, super fun with his little feet dangling over the edge. Now, we need to just finish this off because there's more to it than this. So, first of all, I'm going to put a tiny little bit of glue behind his bobble hat. And the reason I'm going to do that is I want to make sure it's anchored at the top. So, that's the first thing. The next part of this is I've got to decide if I want any of his friends on here with him. So um, I'm just going to get, let me get his bobble hat stuck there. I love the fact his feet literally properly stick out. Um, so some of our embellishments, let, let's put those on. So we've got lots of lovely dangly baubles and these work beautifully just literally hanging from the top so all you need to do for this is a few tiny dots of uh, a dries clear glue something like the um, pin flare book binding glue is perfect so I've got a little blue bauble don't forget everybody as well if you visit highlight crafts you will see that we have got different colorways for you so go and check us out um don't forget to join our youtube channel as well because that's where you'll find loads of fab fun stuff as well now i want this one to be hanging behind so i'm going to turn it over and put a tiny little bit of glue just on this side as well and take that little birdhouse so that that's hanging down. So just lift it up. Whoops. Lift you up and pop you in there. And then I'm going to put that little um, tree so that's hanging down. And I'm going to have another little birdhouse hanging down there. 
and underneath there we'll have a little star that will hang. So we've got them hanging down, coming from our Christmas bauble. And then, just so that you guys get the idea, you can see all those little baubles are hanging down there. Super fun and super easy to make. But boy, does that look pretty. And that's what this collection is about. It's a little bit of fun. It's a lot to actually play with. And I'm just going to finish it off because it's crying out for a couple of these little Christmas trees. And that one is going to go there. And then we're going to decoupage this up. So first of all, our wet glue on the bottom. I'm just going to pop that in position just there. And then take the other one and using our pin flare, We'll just layer this up so that we get a second little tree and the dimension to make that really come to life. So just lifting that a little bit. And that's a great little tip for you. If it gets flat, pull it off and just let it sit on the glue, gently on the glue. So his little, little legs are over the top. We've got that little bit of wire. Let me do this once more for you. And then there he is. There's our little Christmas decoration. Super fun with an aperture in the front of a card. You've nailed it. It's going to look fabulous and everybody will love it. Don't forget to watch out for the collection. Join us at highlightcrafts.com. Our academy classes are up and running. We'd love to see you at festival. Take care, everyone. Lots of love. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.